Hello ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? So, if you've read the title, you already know the question. Did Ayanuma hint at an Ocarina of Time spin-off? Well, did he? And no, I'm not talking about the Sheik spin-off that Miyamoto said was a possibility. Allow me to explain. During the information fallout of E3 2016, Ayanuma had an interview with Edge magazine where he was talking about Nintendo's wish for him to develop a future IP and more Zelda games. When discussing the subject, he made this off comment. I'm not sure I'm allowed to say anything, but I really like the idea of a game where I could live as a thief. That's all I'll say. A game where he can live as a thief. Straight away, that brings to mind Assassin's Creed Black Flag, where the player is one of the best thieves of all, a pirate. Some of the gameplay from Breath of the Wild bears a striking similarity to this game, specifically the climbing, flurry, and stealth aspects. Not to mention on the Wii U version of Black Flag, where the map is available on the gamepad, which is similar to what we saw in the early versions of Breath of the Wild, when it was still called Zelda Wii U at the 2014 Game Awards. I'm not too sure where I'm going with all of this, it's just a bit of an interesting filler. The real point I wanted to focus on is looking at the thieves in the Zelda universe. And the obvious answer is Ganondorf, the King of Thieves. I'll get to him in a second. The more obscure answer is Seikon, the thief from Majora's Mask. The reason this is interesting is in the side mission for the couple's mask, where you enter Seikon's hideout, Kafi becomes a playable character. And this is the first time in a canon Zelda game where the player can control a character other than Link, or an animal that he's riding. It was picked up again in Wind Waker with the command melody mechanism, but that's not quite the same. Again, not really any valid point here, just more interesting filler while we build up to the point of this video. And what is that point? It's Ganondorf, of course. So, if there had to be a game made by Ayanuma about life as a thief, who else could it be about? The difference between Link and Ganondorf is that in almost every Zelda game, Link is a new reincarnation of the hero spirit. Ganondorf, on the other hand, seems to possess immortality, like his witch aunts. Perhaps it's a Gerudo trait, and perhaps it's a trait that's also shared by the Sheikah as explained in these two theory videos here. Sorry about that shameless plugging, back to my point. If they were to make a game about Ganondorf, it would likely be an origin story. And the origin of Ganondorf was Ocarina of Time. And also, because it's a video game, it would need to have an ending which satisfied the player. So if you were playing as Ganondorf, that would mean winning and killing Link, right? Are you seeing it yet? A spin-off Ganondorf game could very well portray the events that become the catalyst for the downfall timeline, in which Link is defeated and Ganondorf corrupts Hyrule until the imprisoning war. What do you think? Was Ayanuma's comment just a throwaway line? Was he dropping hints about Ganondorf? Or was this just a completely new, unrelated project that simply uses the same physics engine from Breath of the Wild to bring the stealth element to a different style of game? They're all possibilities, folks. I guess only time will tell, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on the matter. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below, and if you like the video, check out some of the other stuff on my channel. Cheers!